Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what Avalanche SEO is and how to actually implement the Avalanche SEO theory. So first of all, what is Avalanche SEO? So the theory behind Avalanche SEO is that you need to be getting a certain amount of traffic on your website in order to get, in order to rank for keywords that get a certain amount of search volume so that you can move up the ladder. So I just went on Google and I found this graph by searching Avalanche SEO. You can find these, there's quite a few of them on the internet. But basically, this outlines the different tiers of traffic that you need to be to get to the next level of search traffic as it were. So basically how it works is if you are getting zero to 10 clicks a day, then the theory is that you can rank for keywords that get up to 10 searches a month. And then once you can do that, then you move up to the next one, which is if you're getting 10 to 20 clicks a day, you can rank for keywords that get up to 20 searches a month. Then once you get that, then you can rank for keywords that get up to 50 searches a month, etc, etc. And you can see why it's called avalanche because you essentially go down this hill as it were with SEO as you go down this slope. So to give you another visual example of why this theory would work and I'll explain why because it makes actual practical sense. If we think about it, let's say you've got a keyword that's getting a ton of searches. So this axis represents volume, right? This, let's say this is getting, I don't know, 10,000 searches a month or something. If you think about it, Google is not going to just put a new website to get in front of 10,000 people immediately. They're trying to get good user experience and before they've tested your website, they don't know what people are going to find on your website, whether they're gonna like it, what you're gonna show them, etc. And so it makes sense that they're not going to just show you for this massive volume keyword immediately. However, they are likely to test your website with small volume keywords. So let's say for instance, you've got one here that I'll just call these different color. So this one's like 10 searches a month, just as an example, this one's 10 searches a month that, and then let's say you have another one, etc. And let's say these are different keywords on, on this axis here. So it's keywords. So basically the idea with this is they will test you on these low volume keywords to see how searches react. And if they're finding what they like, then what will happen is they're gonna allow you to move up the tiers to the higher tier search volume keywords. So that's the theory behind Avalanche SEO. So basically what will happen is as you start building up a lot of these low tier keywords, what will happen is your traffic will start stacking. So let's say these are all like 10 searches a month each. What happens is when you start ranking on page one for them, they start stacking on top like this. And so as you get more of them, you you know, your volume starts stacking on your website and eventually your total volume from the low keywords will start going up to let's say half of this. And so you might have ranked for a bunch of low volume keywords and now you're getting, you know, a couple thousand searches a month all from lower volume keywords, which is going to allow you to now rank for one of these higher volume tiers. So moving you up the ladder. So that's basically the theory behind Avalanche SEO. So the idea is that you can do this without having to build backlinks. I mean, you can just make content for the low volume keywords and work your way up the ladder and eventually get to the higher competitive more volume keywords now the other thing about this is the theory behind it is as we know Google changes a lot of things with the algorithm you know they change whether they're prioritizing backlinks or certain types of content etc so the idea behind this is that you've built a good baseline of keywords that you won't lose in an update as opposed to let's say if you were just trying to rank straight for a high competition keyword throwing a bunch of backlinks at it and now Google decides that it doesn't want to value those certain types of backlinks anymore and you lose all your traffic the idea behind this is that because this is a very sort of organic way to do it you should in theory never lose this traffic now okay that's not 100 accurate obviously something like the google helpful content update you know change things a lot however that's the theory here and so how you would work with this is you would go on somewhere like semrush and let's say you wanted to rank for a keyword like coffee now obviously you can see here that this is extremely competitive and gets a lot of searches let me just select us even worse in the us so obviously you're not gonna be ranking for the keyword coffee. So really the only way to do this now, yeah, you would need backlinks to get this done. But the only way to do this is you would have to start at the lower tier and work your way up. So what you would do is you establish the main keyword as we've done here. And then you could open up the related keywords and go to keyword difficulty and sort this either by keyword difficulty or by volume. Largely they will be together. And you'll see here, we've got a lot of low volume keywords with very low difficulty. 
if we also sort by volume same thing and so the theory here is that you would start with all these very low volume keywords from one to ten and you would try and rank for all of these first as you can see ten volume you try and rank for all of those first and then once you publish those then you would try and go to ten to twenty to get up to the next tier you would do all the tens then you would try and go to all the twenties i'm just going to filter it to twenty as you can see here move your way up then to fifty we'll go twenty one to fifty and there so then you do the thirties the forties the fifties etc and by this point because there's sometimes hundreds or thousands of keywords even once you've established that then your total traffic from all of that would put you in a higher tier which in theory means that you should be able to rank for one of these higher search volumes and move your way up the ladder so that is the theory behind avalanche seo obviously there's a lot of other factors that play into this such as topical relevance and authority you know certain types of backlinks you've got the google helpful content update which messed up things a bit you've also got the search intent of the keywords which you obviously need to get right in order to rank for them etc etc so you need to keep these things in mind and obviously apply them correctly however that is how avalanche seo works and eventually you stack up all your volume and so you start getting into the higher tiers so like you know let's say you got that it starts stacking up once you get more etc etc and you go up the list so that's basically it that's the idea behind avalanche seo i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you have any questions put them in the comments below and i will answer them otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do seo and google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to do the seo for your business go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.